Good morning and welcome back to my series Once Upon a Tude Each Day. Oh my god, I'm talking more to this camera lately than to anyone else. You're my new best friend. Sorry about this, going a little bit crazy here. Um, back to business, we're playing Chopin's Etude Opus 10 number 9 today. And I have been looking forward to this because I don't I don't know this etude. Let's just play it. <laughs> Okay, so this doesn't seem to be overly complicated. It's definitely easier than the number eight. The main purpose seems to be exercising your left hand. The right hand forms a rather intriguing melody while keeping that porta portato, <laughs> portato sound, meaning it's uh, legato with staccato dots underneath. And this always bears the question, how short do you want the note to be? I mean, I could go from... to... Honestly, don't really know what to do there yet. I will just experiment a little bit. Also, is it just me or does it sound a little bit eerie and haunting because of the second voice in the left hand? Since I started doing the etudes, usually in the morning my right hand would be kind of sore, but today it's definitely my left hand. In the beginning this etude doesn't feel too straining, but after a while... It's my third finger bending in a weird way right now. So always remember to relax your hands in between. Nevertheless, I really enjoyed practicing this piece. It has a really brooding, dark character. It reminds me a little bit of Schumann, actually. So let's see how it turned out.
I wish I could stay with building the character of this etude more, but I have to move on. Also, I kind of overdid the left hand there. But anyway, this is one of the easier etudes to do. And if you're looking for a project for a day, this is actually manageable. That's it for today, and we will see each other with the lucky number 10 tomorrow. Bye.